Hey everybody, it's Garrett over here at Corporate Fitness Works. I'm over here at the Asperia Fitness Center, and today I'll be teaching a Dirty 30 formatted class. Uh, for today's class, you guys, equipment that I'll be utilizing, first and foremost, is gonna be a mat. Secondly, we're gonna be using uh, some dumbbells. I'm gonna be using a pair of heavier dumbbells for a dumbbell floor press. And then I'll also be using uh, moderate and lighter weights for both um, half kneel shoulder press and renegade rows. Um, other than that, everything else can be body weight or you guys can add weight as need be. Uh, but today's workout, you guys, will be a four time workout. Uh, pretty much what that means is we're gonna have six different movements, six different exercises, where we're gonna have allotted reps for each exercise, all right? How the uh, reps are gonna work out is we're gonna have exercises with uh, 20 reps to start, and we're gonna have exercises with 10 reps and exercises with 100 reps, okay? Um, all the 20 rep exercises per round, we're gonna subtract two reps per round. So first round, 20 reps, second round, 18, third round, 16, and so on until we hit zero. Same thing for those uh, 10 rep exercises. We're gonna start off at 10 and we're gonna subtract by one per round. So we'll do 10, round two will be nine, round three will be eight, and so on, okay? Um, all the, uh, there will only be one 100 rep exercise that's just gonna be jacks. So either jumping jacks or seal jacks. And like I said, we're gonna do 100 here for round one. Round two, we're gonna subtract by 10. Round three, same thing. So round two, 90, round three, 80, and so on. Okay, that's kind of the general formatting and how, um, how we're gonna be treating each round. So that round one, it's gonna be very high volume. Um, so if you need to, you can take breaks on each exercise. If it, um, for, the, for those 100 reps, for those jacks, if you need to break them up, that's fine. Break them up, take your time, catch your breath. Okay, like I said, this is a four time workout. So however much time you guys need for each movement, uh, for each round, it's totally dependent on how much weight you're doing and how intense you're trying to treat this workout. Okay, um, so yeah, that's kind of the general formatting for today's class. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be doing six different movements. Uh, we're gonna be doing both upper body, lower body, and some core work here today. Uh, the emphasis will be primarily on the upper body, but like I said, we will have a few uh, lower body movements and we will have a few core movements throughout as well. All right, um, like I preach in all of these four time workouts, make sure you guys are uh, prioritizing quality reps, quality technique above a quicker time, okay? And what I mean by that is if you're trying to just speed through a few reps, uh, to get to that next round or to finish up that workout, don't do that. Take your time. If you need to get um, not as good of a time, that's fine, okay? The goal is to do quality reps, okay? To get a quality time by achieving those quality reps, okay? So um, have quality technique throughout. If you get tired, if you get fatigued, take a break, get water, okay? Make sure you guys are staying hydrated throughout. Um, and yeah, make it an efficient workout. This should only take you anywhere from 20 to maybe 45 minutes, okay? Somewhere in that time frame. all right? Uh, like I said, those first couple rounds are gonna be very high volume, uh, but as the sets go on, okay, it's gonna get a little bit easier. The reps are gonna go down. Um, so yeah, push through, you guys. Um, I have left all of those exercises in the thumbnail. Um, but I will go ahead and go over each one prior to uh, everybody beginning. Um, and I also will attach a warm up in that thumbnail as well. So if you wanna go ahead, get warmed up statically and dynamically with that, um, you guys can go ahead and go through that warm up and then go, go right into it with me uh, for this four time workout. All right, so to start off you guys, first exercise that we're gonna be doing is going to be a shoulder movement. Okay, um, this is just gonna be a half kneel. So in that half kneel position, shoulder press. Okay, um, we're just gonna have one dumbbell on that opposite side. So whatever knee isn't up, you're gonna be doing that press with that opposite arm. 
all right? You guys can either do a neutral press, okay, keeping that palm in, or you guys can have that pronated press, okay, or that uh, hand facing away from you, okay? Regardless, you guys, keep that core engaged. We're pressing straight up for 10 reps on one side, and then we're switching, doing 10 on the other, okay? Uh, this is gonna be one of those exercises that I'm gonna be treating as 20 reps, uh, but just think of it as 10 and 10 on both sides. Okay, so that round two, we'd be doing nine and nine on both arms, or 18 total. Second exercise we're gonna do, you guys, this is gonna be that dumbbell floor press. Okay, so pretty much it's exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna be pressing from the floor, uh, pressing with our chest, okay? Um, so the benefits of a floor press, if you guys haven't done this before, um, obviously you're not going all the way down to that chest level with your weights because you don't have that range of motion. Uh, with that ground underneath you, okay, uh, you're usually able to lift a little bit heavier, push a little bit more weight because you're not going that full range. Um, so load this one up. This is gonna be where I'm gonna be using a heavier weight. Um, and this will be a 10 rep exercise. So most reps we're gonna be doing is 10. Each round it'll subtract by one. So uh, load up accordingly. Excuse me. Like I said, I'll be going for like a heavier, heavier intensity, heavier weight for that. Uh, but do what you can. Third exercise, you guys, this is gonna be a combo of back and chest with a renegade row, all right? So in this position, we're gonna be in a high plank position, okay? Weights in each hand. Here we're gonna have that wide feet base. We're gonna do a row, row, into a push-up, okay? Each rep is gonna be just that one push-up, okay? Uh, make sure when you guys are rowing it up, you're not swinging open those hips. Keep the feet wide so you, you keep the core engaged throughout. Um, and same thing, you got 10 reps for that exercise. Subtract one rep per round um, as you go through it. Fourth exercise, this is going to be that lower body exercise. It's going to be uh, reverse lunges. All right, so we're going to be in that um, tall position, okay? Kicking back a foot each time, sinking into that deep lunge. All right, alternate those steps. Uh, just count up to 20 reps, okay? We're doing 20 for that. And same thing, we're subtracting two reps uh, per round. All right, fifth exercise is gonna be that core movement that we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be on our back doing feet elevated toe touches. All right, so we're gonna be targeting that top part of the core here. Um, like I said, feet elevated in here, we're just getting that upper back off the ground, getting that top part of the core contracted. And once again, this will be another 20 rep exercise to start. So round two, we're doing 18, round three, 16, and so on. Uh, last exercise that we are gonna be finishing up is going to be targeting our, uh, uh, I apologize. It's gonna be targeting our calves as well as just kind of the total body through a little bit of a cardio uh, movement. And that's just gonna be jacks, okay? So you guys can either do jumping jacks, all right? Hopping out, all right? Hopping out, hands over the head or you guys can do seal jacks, all right, where your feet are still hopping out, but your arms are hopping out, or uh, are opening up laterally instead of overhead, okay? Um, like I said, this is gonna be very, very high volume with 100 reps for round one, okay? So if you need to take a break in there, that's fine. Take a couple breaks, that's fine. Uh, get through that 100 reps, and then you're back to the top with that starting uh, dumbbell half kneel press, all right? Alternate through those jumping jacks and seal jacks if you need to as well for a little bit of added variety. Um, and like I said, you guys, prioritize quality reps, prioritize pushing good weight um, above a quicker time, all right? Um, Dirty 30, that's what we got today, you guys. If you are ready to go, you guys can start your watch, start that timer, whatever, okay? Once you guys finish up, keep note of that time please be sure to put it in the comment and or description box. Um, and then you guys can also just keep a mental note of what that time is. And later on down the line, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, you guys retest, do this workout again, see if you got a better time, all right? Uh, that's what we got today's workout, you guys. Get done, it should be 10 rounds total, if my math is correct. 
get through those 10 rounds as quickly as possible without cheating reps and have fun with it, you guys. All right, get ready to go here. Got that half heel press to start. Like I said, subtract those 20 rep exercises by two, subtract the 10 rep exercise by one, subtract that 100 rep exercise by 10 each round. All right, whenever you guys are ready to go, let's get it here. I'm getting mine going here in three, two, one, let's go. Starting off with that half kneel press here, you guys. Like I said, 10 on each side. You guys can keep it neutral. You guys can do that pronated press. Whatever you want to do. Up. We got that floor press, got 10 reps here. Get wide feet here. Remember, row, row, push up. Up, get those reverse lunges. 20 total here. Elevated toe touches, 20 of them. Get that upper back off the ground. Alright guys, last thing we got here, 100 jacks, either jumping jacks, seal jacks, a combo, doesn't matter, let's get it.
right, guys, round one done. Subtract two reps from those 20 rep exercises. Subtract one from the 10 rep exercise. Subtract 10 from that last one. Keep pushing through, guys. Back to the top, you guys. Let's keep after it. Let's keep going. Round two, single arm shoulder press. All right, nine each side. Switch it over. Um, full press, you guys know what you got. You got nine reps total. Uh, renegade rows dropping to nine. Reverse lunges dropping to 18. All right, uh, uh, toe touches, 18. And then uh, jumping jacks down to 90 reps. All right, keep pushing through, guys. Keep chasing those. Keep chasing those times. First lunge is 18. Two touches. And lastly, we got jacks, seal jacks, and jumping jacks, 90 of them.
All right. Good job, guys. Round two done. Eight four to go. Let's get it. Back to the top. lunges. touches. Jumping jacks or seal jacks? Got 70 of them. three done. Round four here guys. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Keep chugging along. 70 charm here.
lunges. Sixty jacks. Halfway there, guys. Five rounds left. All right, back to the top. Six in each arm here. Woo! Keep pushing through, guys. Take breaks as needed. All right. I'm about 19 and a half minutes in right now. lunges. Ooh. All right. Toe touch up next. Okay. 
pin 50 jacks. Whew. lunges. Ooh, toe touches. guys three rounds left all right almost there keep pushing through all right four reps here for the four rounds left here I should say four reps let's get it each side
just now realized that I skipped toe touches, so I'm gonna do those right now. Woo. Never cheating. Okay. All right, back to the top, guys. Back to the top. Three rounds left here. Back to the top, two left here. One more here, guys. Pretty much 32 minutes on the dot I completed it um, hopefully you guys have completed even sooner all right good work today you guys if you haven't finished keep pushing through keep chugging along take however much time you guys need to okay good work today finish up you guys make sure you guys are staying hydrated make sure you guys are getting something in that stomach okay uh, supplement the body give it what it wants 
Good job today, you guys. Way to work, way to sweat. Until next time, you guys, take care. We'll see you in the next video.